Hi YouTube, I'm Georgia and I'm bringing to you what I packed in Baby Tatum's hospital bag. And I probably overpacked, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So, over here is my big diaper bag right here. And right here we have his first bear toy. It's really cute. My aunt actually customized it. Has Tatum's name on it. Super adorable. Little blanket. Stuffed animal. Right here I have Tatum's first handprint and footprint and I would really like to get that done when he first comes out and they're doing their handprint and footprint for the birth certificate. thought that would be really cool. I have hand sanitizer, changing pad, diaper Ba disposable diaper bags from Munchkin. Down here I have everything for a little bath. Not that I need it, but just in case. I know some people give their baby their first bath in the hospital and I just want to make sure I'm prepared. So we have butt paste, Johnson's baby lotion, Johnson's baby head to toe wash, and everything is tear free. Back here we have a little travel pack of Huggies Natural Care wipes. I have the Safety First Safety Kit for newborns. It's got, I can actually show you. I really like this kit. It's great for on the go. It comes with all the essentials. I don't so much like the little nose boogie sucker, but... Um, comes with pretty much everything, your bas basic essentials. We have a medicine, bottle, alcohol wipes, the nose sucker, fingernail clippers. Underneath here is the thermometer with thermometer covers. I love that. If you flip it around, it comes with little, actually it didn't come with those, but a little nursing pads hairbrush, hair comb, toothbrush, there's another little comb in there, as well as a little safety card. So that's really great. I do like that a lot. It's really small and compact. A very great gift I got from my baby shower. And then we have a little bottle. I actually have two. I have one in the side over here in the little bottle container or holder. And then here is just another little bottle. I'm not sure. I've I'm probably going to end up formula feeding. Alright, so over here, what I packed in the big bag are two of these really great little sleepers. I call them bottomless sleepers. I don't know if that's the correct term, but they have the little, What's that called? Elastic at the bottom, so it's really easy to change the diaper in the middle of the night. Just really convenient. It's got the little mittens to prevent the baby from scratching his face. I have two of them. I have this one as well as this one right here. Really cute. His going home outfit. I had fun doing this. I love the little monkey's outfit, and so he has his little beanie with his little onesie. And his little pajamas. And matching pair of socks. So that's his going home outfit. Love it. Love, love, love it. All Carters. I have three pairs of mittens. Probably too many. But it's okay. Three pairs of socks. Another extra beanie. I have four more onesies. And another little nightgown. So that's in a pair of pants. Call it overpacking. I know when I go out to town or anywhere and I pack myself a little bag, I overpack. But I'm okay. I'd rather overpack than underpack. Alright, over here we have a swaddle me, swaddler blanket blanket. My boyfriend does not know how to swaddle, so that made it easy and convenient for him. I have two receiving blankets. I have, I don't know what to call it, it's just a regular blanket, it's really thin and breathable. 
I have three burp cloths and that's about it. I have two diaper bags. Here's one of them. This is the smaller one. It's really great. I would actually say this little pack that I got is great. I mean, I haven't used it yet with the baby, but so far it comes with two good size. This one has a whole bunch of pockets and I just love it. So that's what I packed for Tatum's hospital bag and he should be here anytime now. I'm ready for him. Alright, thanks for watching.